The new session of Congress is paralyzed right now because of an open revolt by hardline Republicans. California Congressman Kevin McCarthy failed three times today to earn enough votes to become Speaker of the House. Normally the vote is procedural, but 20 holdouts are demanding a change in party leadership and the House is now adjourned for the day without settling the dispute. Fox's Lauren Blanchard has more from Washington. A chaotic start for the 118th Congress now with Republicans in charge in the House, but the party is split on who should lead them. A speaker has not been elected. For the first time in a century, a vote for House Speaker was not decided on the first or even second ballot. GOP leader Kevin McCarthy received a large number of Republican votes, but with such a slim majority, there were just not enough members to elect him on the first attempt. Andy Biggs of Arizona challenged him for the post, and Ohio's Jim Jordan was nominated for the second round, despite his support for McCarthy. Well, sometimes we have to do jobs that we don't really want to do. And sometimes we have to do jobs that we are called to do. McCarthy's opponents argue he is part of the establishment and doesn't have an aggressive enough approach to take on congressional Democrats. How are we going to fix this if we keep doing the same things and getting the same outcomes? In the lead up to Tuesday's vote, McCarthy offered his GOP critics concessions, including making it easier for members to remove him from his position. There's times we're going to have to argue with our own members if they're looking at for only positions for themselves, not for the country. For now, Democrats are content to watch their counterparts battle it out on the House floor, with Hakeem Jeffries gearing up to become minority leader. Certainly from the Democrats' perspective, it's get out the popcorn. Until a speaker is chosen, House members will have to wait to be sworn in. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox 4 News.